Proxima b could potentially be another Earth-like planet, but these are just speculations that everyone keeps making. The search for an alternative habitable planet and alien life is something that fascinates humans. Various speculations have arisen, and the fact that signals have been detected from Proxima b leads many to believe there is more to this planet. Despite these signs, we have yet to determine if these are actual messages from the planet or merely echoes of our own scientific signals. Often, these signals end up being echoes. In their quest to figure out whether these signals are truly from Proxima b, scientists hope to determine if alien life exists. Recently, the James Webb Telescope detected artificial lights on Proxima b. If you're interested in learning more about other planets and our progress in finding alternative life, subscribe to our channel. We make content about outer space and discuss innovations in science. If you enjoy this content, comment below and share this video with your friends. Now, let's get back to our video. Proxima Centauri, about 4.2 light years away from our solar system, is a faint dwarf star classified as GZ. It is known as Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our Sun and solar system. Johann Bayer named it Alpha Centauri in 1635. The name was derived from the star's ascension at noon, while several celestial bodies like the Moon and Sun were aligned. Proxima Centauri, also known as Alpha Centauri or Alpha Centauri A, is part of a system with four main stars in a line. Proxima Centauri is at the center of this system, with two faint dwarfs, Alpha Centauri A, also called Rigel Centaurus, and Alpha Centauri B. These stars make up the bulk of the system's mass, but are too faint to be seen with the naked eye. This system is located 23 degrees away from the famous Plow asterism in the constellation Centaurus. Even though Proxima B is a rocky planet, there is hope that it might harbor extraterrestrial life. The search for life has led scientists to focus on Proxima B, as its size and distance from its dwarf star make it a potential candidate for hosting life. While these are just speculations, there is hope that some truth lies within. There is still much to learn about Proxima B and its orbit so stay tuned for updates. You can also check out some of our other content related to extraterrestrials. Do you believe there is other life out there? Leave a comment below. What fascinates most people about Proxima b is its similarity to Earth. Studies show that Proxima b is an exoplanet that orbits an M-type star, with a mass estimated to be 1.27 times that of Earth. Proxima b completes its orbit around its star in 11.5 days. Discovered in 2016, scientists are still actively researching it. However, despite its Earth-like characteristics, Proxima b has features that make it uninhabitable. For example, the planet is too close to its star and is bombarded with extreme ultraviolet radiation, hundreds of times more intense than the radiation Earth receives from the Sun. This radiation is powerful enough to strip away even the lightest hydrogen molecules, and over time, it erodes oxygen and nitrogen as well. While some argue that Proxima b could be habitable due to its distance from its star being similar to the distance between Earth and the Sun, there is much more to consider. Distance alone does not determine whether a planet has water or a conducive atmosphere for life. Earth's atmosphere is essential for its habitability, regulating the climate and enabling a water-friendly surface, while also shielding living organisms from hazardous space weather. If you're still with us and haven't subscribed, take a moment to do so. Your subscription helps us continue creating content like this that you'll love. Now, let's dive into why people think the James Webb Telescope will help us determine whether life exists on Proxima b. Launched in 2018 after delays since 2011, the James Webb Telescope was designed to capture infrared light. Loeb explained that if a planet like Proxima b absorbs light from its star, it could also emit infrared light. The James Webb Telescope was specifically designed to observe infrared light, and it can take photos of this light on a planet's surface to look for patterns that may indicate the presence of water or an atmosphere. Space telescopes like the James Webb are preferred over ground-based ones because they don't have to peer through Earth's shifting atmosphere to see deep into space, giving them a clearer view. They are also unaffected by weather changes on Earth. However, a downside to space telescopes is that they are expensive to fix if something goes wrong. For example, a small flaw in a space telescope can require an entire mission into space to repair it, which drives up costs. In the case of the James Webb Telescope, which is over 1.5 million kilometers away, rescue missions are not an option. 
The James Webb Telescope has a larger mirror than other telescopes, allowing us to see back to the beginning of the universe almost 13.7 billion years ago. The further away an object is, the further back in time we can see, due to the time it takes for light to travel. The James Webb Telescope's ability to see the universe in longer wavelengths of infrared light lets us observe distant galaxies with greater certainty than ever before. As a result, observing planets like Proxima b has become easier. There has been speculation about a hypothetical civilization on Proxima b that could use artificial light similar to early civilizations on Earth. Studies show that if the night side of Proxima b reached 5% of the illumination of its day side, the James Webb Telescope could detect artificial light with 85% accuracy. At 9% illumination, detection accuracy increases to 95%. Even though 5% illumination seems small, when compared to the 20,000 times dimmer light from Proxima Centauri relative to our Sun, this is significant. Some scientists have speculated that Proxima b might be tidally locked, meaning one side of the planet always faces its star while the other side is in perpetual darkness. A civilization on such a planet might focus on illuminating infrastructure or use orbital mirrors to reflect sunlight from the day side to the night side. These are just speculations, and there is no proof yet. The Earth's illumination, known as airglow, is visible from space and is often mistaken for auroras. Airglow happens when atoms and molecules in the upper atmosphere produce light to release excess energy, typically due to solar radiation. Auroras, by contrast, are driven by high-energy particles from the solar wind. Since the launch of the James Webb Telescope, scientists have debated whether it is enough to help us find life on planets in distant galaxies. Despite its promising results, the James Webb Telescope has limitations and conversations are ongoing about developing larger, more advanced telescopes like the Habitable Exoplanet Observatory, HabEx, which is expected to revolutionize space studies when it launches after its estimated completion in 2035. As a civilization, we are far from finding life on other planets, but with better technology, there is a chance we might discover something exciting. Until then, all we have are theories about Proxima b and other Earth-like planets. What do you think? Do you believe in alien life? Or do you think Earth is the only habitable planet? Comment below with your thoughts. If you haven't already, subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next video.